All right, guys, here's the situation. You're ready to binge watch your favorite show, whether it's like Shameless or The Bear, uh, Seinfeld, King of Queens, Bernie Mac, whatever it is. In fact, I actually need to watch the movie, uh, The Cocaine Bear, that's what it is. I need to watch that. Maybe I'll do that when I get done talking to you guys. But you're ready to binge watch and you're tired of binging on things that are small, like your TV. It's 55, 65, 75, 85. That's too small for people these days. So people are wanting to go, ultra big. So what you do is you take out your piggy bank, you flip it upside down, you crack it open and you get all the coins out and you spend $6,500 on a brand new LG ultra short throw projector. I said that because that's what I got back there, man. That's that LG bad boy right there. That projector is so awesome. Got all the inputs and ports you need. Okay, we're talking Dolby Atmos, we're seeing True Blacks, we're seeing real 4K, like 3,000 ANSI lumens worth of 4K. This thing has everything a person could want in an ultra short throw projector. Now an ultra short throw projector is, it's fairly new, it's kind of a new concept, but this is where you don't have to have a massive room because you don't, you know, regular projectors, they, they, the projector's like here and then 10, 15, you know, feet away is the actual screen that you're gonna be casting on, or it could be a wall. Ultra short throw projectors, you just toss them right up against the screen or the wall, whatever you're gonna cast it on, right? This one can actually be like a minimum of like 2.2 inches away to cast a 90 inch image. That's incredible. So now you don't have to have a massive theater room to have projection in a large screen. So that's what makes this screen or this projector so awesome. But today's star of the show is not going to be this really awesome expensive projector. But before I tell you who the real star of the show is today, let me first reintroduce myself. This is New Stuff TV, baby. Welcome back. I'm your host, Antoine. It is showtime in my living room, Richardson, because today we are talking about not only this awesome projector back here that's capable of so many things, we're also gonna be talking about this brand new screen from Elite Screens. Man, this is the Starling Tab Tension CLR electric drop-down screen. Look at that. Look at that in all of its beauty. It's gorgeous. The reason why it's gorgeous is because of the screen. And that's what I wanted this video to be about today. I wanted to showcase the projector, but I realized uh, a few years ago that you can have yourself a really nice, even really expensive projector. And a lot of people are actually just gonna, you know, take their projector and cast it on a wall. You know, you cast it on the wall, you're gonna have, you know, the texturing of the wall in your image. And if you decide to get on Amazon or something and just buy, you know, just the screen, you want something big, right? 100, 120 inches or whatever, or even 150, you know, you spent all this money on the projector, so now you might decide to cheap out on the screen, save a, little, a few coins. I'm gonna advise you, maybe you shouldn't do that because you gotta remember, man, the projector is only as good as the surface it's projecting onto, which is, is your screen. And so in my case, what I did was I do have a nice projector at home and I ended up getting a $65 Amazon screen, 120 inches electric drop down. And it was awesome, man. I thought I was balling. It, it looks so good, man. But the thing was, <clears throat> I had to watch it in, in pitch black. The image looks really great, okay? I cannot downplay the image. But it wasn't until I got introduced to Elite Screens, ambient light rejecting screens, that I realized how important this stuff was. This one happens to be a CLR, which means ceiling light rejecting, because it has a multi-layer material that actually absorbs and rejects up to 90% of the light coming from your ceiling, which is these right here. I got four big fluorescent lights, two ceiling fan lights on right now, and you're seeing this image, which is amazing. And the reason why you would want a screen like this, the CLR, is because we're using an ultra short throw projector. That's what these are made for. They go hand in hand because ultra short throws cast from the bottom, uh, moving upward, uh, casting that light upward, and you need that light to be rejected from the top. And that's why you're seeing this image right here. And that kind of explains the importance of using a screen like this. If I were just casting this on a wall, it would have ripples or even a cheaper screen, it would have ripples and, and waves and textures and stuff like that. And speaking of waves and ripples, you don't see any in this screen right here because it is an electric drop down tab tension screen, which means all the way up from the top and bottom, you'll see these little tabs on the left and right hand side 
that have this little cable running through it and it keeps things nice and taut. This way you don't have any distractions while you're watching your content. Now this projector is capable of displaying HDR content, which means you're gonna get true blacks. That doesn't mean anything if you're casting it onto a wall or a crappy screen that isn't worthy of your HDR image. This Starbright CLR material enhances the picture quality to almost OLED blacks while you're watching in a controlled environment. This way you can actually pull out all the capabilities out of your brand new projector. Now, when you have a large gathering such as a football party or watching a World Series or something like that, you usually have a lot of people in the room and people are watching it from different angles. When you're watching on a big old flat screen TV, sometimes you can get that glare. And if you're watching it on a projector, of course you're gonna have like washout from the sides because it's not that great of a screen, but not with this one, man. From pretty much any angle, from right here, I can see clearly what's going on. Everything is nice and crisp even from these viewing angles right here over to the side. So you don't have to worry about everybody in the room getting a good view. Everybody's gonna have a nice crystal clear view of what you're watching. Now here's a little fun fact I bet you didn't even think about. Since projector light is actually being reflected at you versus thrown at you like a TV does, it actually causes less strain on the eye. So you don't have to worry about eye fatigue. And the cool part about all this is that the images still pop and remain true even though you have the lights on coming from overhead, even from the sides, man. Look, at the end of the day, you've spent a lot of money and a lot of time picking out the perfect projector for your theater room or just for any kind of setup you're gonna use. Yes, audio will come in. It's, it's gonna be a third piece of the puzzle. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the second most important piece of the puzzle is the Starling Tab Tension CLR. It's speaking for itself right there in the back with all these lights on. Either way, I am not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is y'all gotta leave because I'm actually about to turn the lights off and I'm gonna finally watch Cocaine Bear, man. Look, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.